Hey folks, this is a computer update for December of uh, 2018. And I doubt much is going to change until next year. There's actually some really cool stuff coming out next year that I might partake in. Mostly CPU and GPU related because next year I think is going to be a really good year for that. Hence why I didn't really change anything um, CPU wise in these computers. That might change next year. We shall see. Anyway, uh, in the last update video, I mentioned to you guys that I had experimented putting a RX 570 and 580 in both of these machines. The 580 being in the Linux machine and the 570 being in the Windows machine. Well, that experiment didn't really change the results I got on the Linux machine. Um, so what I have done, I've gone back to the RX 560 in the Linux machine and the RX 580 in the uh, Windows machine. Now, the 560 seems to be stable on at least the AMD GPU driver that's in kernel 4.15, which is on the uh, Linux machine over there on Kubuntu 18.04, so that's what I've stuck with. I'm sure as kernel versions um, increase that, that those drivers will stabilize and I'll be able to use a higher bandwidth card again. I have the RX 570 in my sleeper build, which is a Haswell machine. So it's still being used somewhere, kind of. So only it's a different uh, 570 now. It is a, uh, an ASRock one rather than the Sapphire one. So at least I swapped that out. And that's what I've observed. I've observed that AMD GPU just, it seems like uh, GPUs with a, with a high memory bandwidth don't always play nicely with AMD GPU. I've had it affect a couple of machines and a couple of video cards actually. So it can affect stability. Um, I think that'll be corrected down the line. I wouldn't worry about that too much. But in the meantime, stuff based on Polaris 11, I believe, is pretty stable, which is RX 460, 560, 550 uh, GPUs like that. Those are perfectly fine in uh, Linux at the moment. And they actually do everything I need it to do. So I don't really know why I was trying to upgrade it, because I, I didn't really need it. Um, so there is that. So... Knowing what I know now about the Ryzen 3000 series, though, I think that's going to be a much more worthy upgrade next year. I'm not set on buying one, but I'm thinking about getting the 12-core chip for the Windows machine for like uh, video conversion projects and things like that to move along a little faster. Um, so I'm toying with that idea, even though the 8-core chip in this thing is pretty damn nice already. Uh, but it's something to think about, you know. Uh, I might go for that, might not. It kind of depends where I am at the time and whether I need it and how financially viable it is for me and all that kind of stuff. But, yeah, I, I see good things on the horizon. You know, I don't know if I'm going to partake in the CPUs, but the Navi GPU architecture, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm not 100% on that yet, but that, that would be really nice to get into a, a machine like this. It depends, again, it depends on how worth it that is, too. Navi could just be hype and not be a huge performance leap, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully it is. The CPUs, though, look good, so a, uh, a Ryzen 7 3700 might be in the cards next year sometime. That would be really cool to get 12 cores into there and just be able to get the most life I can out of this hardware because that's the last generation that'll work on my boards. So if I put the 3700 in this machine and move the 1700 into this machine, these machines will be good for a long time. So I've been thinking about that. Um, I've also been uh, thinking, um, I've been thinking laptops a little bit, and I have too many, so I'm going to sell a bunch of them off, and I'm going to focus on uh, basically, I'm going to focus on basically having two laptops, one that's sort of a general purpose and one that has a little bit of graphics oomph behind it. In terms of the ones I actually carry around, the bedside computer is going to remain what it is for quite a while, I think. So, there is that. And uh, for once, I'm not swapping out the bedside computer constantly. That's a first for me, right? <laughs> so, so, I'm refocusing on my laptops a little bit, and I'm thinking about the new hardware that's coming next year. And I've put my graphics configuration back to the way it was before I started sort of experimenting with it a little bit. So, going back to uh, what's tried and true and what works. And, uh, yeah, not much more to say than that, I guess. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.